Today we're going to be taking a look at the Florida Gator Air Jordan 1 Low PE. I'm really excited to show you guys all the detailed looks at this sneaker with the comparisons between the other PE models as well, but we got to talk about the history first. Back in late 2018, Jordan Brand and Florida Gators decided to announce that they were officially becoming a Jordan Brand school, and during that time they debuted the Air Jordan 4 Florida Gators PE. This was like a new marketing push for Jordan Brand and their new colleges coming onto the scene, and they gave a bunch of different colleges that same Jordan 4 treatment, but in their school color. Shortly after that, next year in 2019, we then saw the Air Jordan 1 High OG, and they did the same thing with that with multiple schools as well. And then a year later, we saw the Jordan 5. Again, same treatment, multiple colleges. I love that colorway. Excited to give you guys that review in the future as well. And then recently, last year, we saw the Air Jordan 6, and oh my gosh, that was the one that put the icing on the cake. I love the 6s. You know I had to add those to my collection. We'll talk about that in another video. But either way, that's kind of how it all came about in the shoes that came before this Jordan 1 low and now this year earlier we saw the Jordan 1 low hit the streets and you know I had to get my hands on them and I'm excited to add these to my collection all right so we got a lot of details to go over these and some comparisons with some of the other models as well so let's go ahead and get started with the bottom of the shoe work our way up and break this whole thing down starting with the outsole as you can see right here all gum bottom on the outsole I really love this hit and then if you look at them next to side by side with the Jordan 1 with the high top as you can see right here you have all orange on the bottom of the outsole and then you have a pure white midsole and this one actually is more of a sail colored midsole with the sail stitch on here as well so it's kind of giving it a little bit more of that vintage type of vibe especially with the distressed leather that you see on the upper when it comes to the blue areas on the panels now the upper is going to be a mixture between a few different materials between satins and suede and stingrays and distressed leathers so the first part like i was talking about earlier with the distressed leather on the blue panels i thought this was more similar to the jordan 6 but as i started to think about it and putting them side by side i realized Honestly, they're not really the same. So this isn't really a good comparison when it comes to the Florida Gator. I think the Jordan 1 is a better comparison when it comes to the materials. Obviously color blocking is different. And then they got that Gator with the print around the toe and the top area and the back end around the collar. But when you think about the Stingray right here on the back end where the swoosh, the orange swoosh and all that looks very similar to that aspect. And then if you look at the blues, obviously different materials there. But what they deal with the white cracked leather, the distressed leather on the side panels on both the inside and outside of the foot, that's actually really similar to the blue panels that you see on the low top version right here. Now we've only seen suede mainly on the Air Jordan 4, but when you think of the suede right here on this pair, it's definitely gonna be a lot more fine on the low top Air Jordan 1. Another dope touch when it comes to the low top Air Jordan 1s for the college PEs, they added the little swoosh right here. We've seen this done in the past on previous releases for some GR stuff or some limited releases as well. So I like how they added that little touch to the shoe. Some people don't like it at all, but I think it's a nice little accent and a little splash of color to the front right into the sneaker as well. Hey yo, real quick, before we take it any farther into the review, I just wanted to let you guys know I dropped some more new merch on the website. So hit the link shopdnashow.com or it'll be pinned right below the video. You'll be able to see all the product items. If you click on that, that'll take you directly to the website as well. And we also have some more new merch coming soon with shorts and hats and different things like that. So stay tuned to the site. We got some new drops. I'm excited for everybody that's getting their orders in right now. And I'm looking forward to seeing you tagging me on Instagram, rocking your new tee or hoodie or whatever it may be. But anyways, let's get back to the video shopdnashow.com the link is down below now these come equipped with a pair of wax laces to match the upper and materials of the tongue as well but inside the packaging i also noticed that there's a pair of blue wax laces and you have an additional pair of orange wax laces right here so that allows you to switch it up and kind of customize it i think it would look really good honestly with any three of these i think the orange would kind of splash well with the swoosh me personally i'm not really the biggest orange fan but the blue, I think that would kind of blend in really well. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Honestly, I'm really happy with the way they are with the sail laces in here. And I think I would probably stick to that when I rock these. And don't worry, you'll see me rocking these really soon. Now going to the tongue and the shoe, you got the same thing with the materials right there. And then you got your blue lining all around the top of the tongue. And then your orange tab with the Nike Air branding in the center of that. Now looking at the sock liner, this is another really, really dope detail that we haven't really seen integrated yet on the other models. And you have that diamond stitch with the blue satin sock liner and this looks really really good it kind of gives me that Dornbecker 6 vibe we've seen this integrated on other sneakers as well but every time they do that it just gives you even more of a premium and a luxury vibe to a sneaker so yes we know that there's a lot more effort that's put into PEs and samples and things like that so I can definitely understand why they took that extra step when it comes to the creative process of these compared to the high tops 
because we know on the high tops you can add a little bit more elements to the top end with the materials and you can kind of you know take a little bit step back on the sock liner but because it's a low top and it shows more ankle i can understand why they did that and i think it's a really really good look let me know what you guys think about the sock liner down below in the comment section now another dope hit right here they did orange insoles to kind of make it pop even more than having the blue kind of just blending in so i thought that was a really nice touch and then you got your florida gators logos on both the left and the right insole right there now taking it to the back end of the shoe you can see you have your air jordan wings logo embossed right here and that's going to be in that sail color as well on both feet and then for the most part this pe it's not really screaming college pe besides the insole and then obviously the school colors but you could kind of relate that to a lot of different things but i like how they did that to make it a little bit more subtle at the same time and even though this one also kind of screams florida gators colors and everything it's pretty subtle as well it doesn't have like a big gator logo on the back end all you have on these is just the tongue right here and you have the gator logo on the left foot and then the nike air on the right foot so i like how they did that subtle branding with the low tops as well because if you look at the air jordan 6 as you can see you got a large gator logo on the back end and then you got the gator logo right here on the front on the tab and then on the jordan 5 yes you got the nike branding here on the back end but then you got the big gators logo right there on the tongue as well and on the 4 it's going to be the same concept you got the jordan branding on the back end and then you got the big gators logo on the tongue right here as well so i like how they brought it down and made it a little bit more subtle a little bit more sleek added a lot of cool elements to it changed it up just a little bit from the other ones but still had similarities when it comes to materials and color designing and different things like that so overall a really really clean shoe the og air jordan one low set i love all of them i think they're super dope and there's a couple that just might be on the way very soon so stay tuned because i got some more pickups coming for you guys so after seeing a better look at the shoe let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section now i'm interested in you guys' opinions because it's always fun to see the poll results whether people think the shoe is fire or trash so if you haven't already make sure you follow me on ig so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel but basically i asked a simple question is the shoe fire or is the shoe trash this is what the people said. 77% of the people chose fire and 23% of the people chose trash. And I completely understand. I think for a low top OG colorway, we don't get to see this colorway too often. And if you're a Knicks fan or a Florida Gators fan or somebody who just likes these colors, it makes sense as to why people like it. And I know a lot of people are loyal to their college and they don't want to get other colleges and they don't like those things. So I can see why people may not like it and are in that 23%. But I'm interested to see what you think as well. So drop a comment down below. And for me, as you guys know, I love them. I'm excited to have them in my collection. Looking forward to rock them and all those other fancy things. Also, if you're looking to add any new PEs or crazy rare gems to your collection, make sure you guys go stop by Untied LA. I have the links for everything down below. For the store or the website, hit them up on Instagram if you're ever interested in any of those crazy sneakers. They have some great stuff on their website and inventory at the store. And if you order anything else from the website as well use the discount code dna show that'll get you guys free shipping on all your orders from their website i love shopping there you guys have seen plenty of videos on the channel i've gotten a bunch of different pe's from them so if you haven't already make sure you go check them out because they were definitely the key to me even getting these shoes in my collection in the first place so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe i have a fully curated playlist with a bunch of different pe's and samples inside of that playlist here on the channel so make sure you guys go check that out dive in get a little bit more knowledge or get refreshed with some new PEs that you may not have seen before there's a bunch of stuff in there and I'm looking forward to helping you guys in the future and showing you some of the rarest sneakers in the world so again hit that subscribe button I'll see you guys in another video I'm out I would never let you down yo before you go I just launched my sneakerhead academy where we got everything on the inside I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers scaling real estate you name it we talk about all of it in there and there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways I give away shoes literally way too much honestly but either way I'll see you guys on the inside hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for dj sneakerhead academy and i'll see you guys over there listen my dna hey, the hey, only hey, choice i like to make what i'm aware it's today one of those. i would never let you down it's in my dna the only choice i like to make what i'm aware today i was made for it it's in the dna